so hi everyone welcome back to data science in a pocket and we have a big release today that is meta has released dino v3 it's one of the best vision models that can do a number of tasks for you be it object segmentation object detection and as you can see on my screen different demos are going on so it can be taken as a vision foundational model the previous two versions were great and this time they have released Dino V3 and the model is open sourced as well as you can see download Dino V3. Here are some use cases that you can see. Exceptional performance across visual domain as you can see. Versatile backbone with powerful dense image features, efficient model size and what not. So we won't be demonstrating the model right now that I would be covering in a different video and this time we will be talking a little more about what the model can do and what are its key features so let's get started also as you can see the benchmarks it is already taking up the throne dethroning dino dino v2 sigle p etc on different benchmarks beat segmentation depth estimation video tracking instant retrieval and what not what makes dino v3 a real shift it does not use this label it doesn't require fine tuning and still SOTA. You can directly use it for different tasks and it will work for you. It learns dense features from every patch. So rather than just saying that this is a cat, it can say it is a stripped cat with brown fur, with brown front at the back, white fur at the front, etc. Very detailed. Excels at segmentation, tracking and depth estimation and outperforms models like Clip and Sam if you have heard of them. Built at scale. The model, the core is 7 billion parameter VIT that is vision transformer trained on 17 billion ROM images. It uses hierarchical k-means clustering for visual diversity and retrieval based sampling for conceptual relevance. As you can see here the comparison, Dino V3 is 7 billion parameters, others were this much. Dense features without collapsing gram anchoring. So they have introduced a new concept called as gram anchoring in the research paper also. So the problem was that patch wise features become noisy or collapse during long training. As mentioned, they come up with a new loss function called as gram anchoring, which forces structure of similarities between patch features to stay stable. We won't be jumping much into it, but just understand that they have introduced gram anchoring as a new loss function for the model. Adaptable for high resolution input, that's the best part. Most models are trained on low resolution images like 224 or 256, but Dino V3 is trained on everything. It can generalize up to higher resolution like 512, 768, etc. And can work with 4K satellite images too. Frozen backbone, many tasks, no fine tuning is required. Once trained, Dino V3 can work directly for any task, be it segmentation, video tracking and what not. Apply simple linear layers, KNN or light clustering and it outperforms other models too. Key applications, semantic segmentation, 3D correspondence, object discovery, satellite and medical imagery, monocular depth estimation, object tracking and video understanding, visual search, image clustering and what not so any task related to image i think dino v3 can be your go-to model now distillation done right other versions are also released full 7b model distilled into smaller versions as well so vit 21 million model is also there 86 300 800 etc different variants are also released why this is important i think very crucial breaks the need for supervision no labels no fine tuning is required handles dense and global tasks with equal strength size is also decent i think 7 billion is fine and generalizes across domains natural images aerial views etc so with this it's a wrap the model weights as shown on the first screen are present on official release of dino v3 and also on hugging face so you can check that out. I have shared the link in the comment section below. Thank you so much.